Today we're going to be baking my version of an Italian Easter biscuit and they're called scuti. They come from the Italian region of Calabria. Now the original recipe is actually a sweet bread dough but this is now an updated version and it's so much easier for all of us mums, nonni of today. And welcome, welcome to, to Vincenzo's Plate. Oh yes, with Maria's Plate. Maria today is making sguti from Calabria, beautiful we are, Easter sweets yes. cookies. And when I was introduced into your family, the Calabrian family, I, you know, I loved them straight away and I look forward for Easter to arrive. Well, thank because you, Vincenzo. Because during Easter, I get these biscuits, I dip it in my coffee, my milk, and I love it. You do. It's just a really simple version of a sweet biscuit and it can be used at Easter time this recipe can be used at other times, but there's something special that we do with it at Easter. I'd like to dedicate this to my mother and my mother-in-law. Okay. Both have passed away, very special people in my life. But we keep with the traditions. Absolutely, we keep the absolutely. Let's make this uh, beautiful. Let's start. These are the ingredients that we need. One metric cup of extra virgin olive oil or olive oil. One metric cup of white sugar. One metric cup of milk. One dozen eggs vanilla essence, one lemon, and one kilo of self-raising flour with a little extra self-raising flour on the side. Are you excited? I'm excited, so let's start. We'll start with five eggs. Start cracking your eggs into your bowl. So what I like to do first is, I like to whisk my eggs. So we have a whisker. Oh, and by the way, these eggs have to be a 70 gram egg and organic. We're now going to add our other ingredients. So one metric cup of sugar, one metric cup of milk, and one metric cup of extra virgin olive oil, or just olive oil. Whatever you have in the cupboard, just make sure it's a good oil. Oh, look at the color of this, this looks great. We're just going to add about a, a teaspoon of vanilla essence, and a lemon zest and wouldn't it be great if we can actually just go outside and just get a lemon from the lemon tree like I used to at my mum and dad's place but not all, all of us are quite that lucky so as long as you can have a beautiful looking lemon that's got um, a nice skin to it just zest all of that skin into your ingredients oh it smells so good once we finish zesting we're actually going to use some of the lemon juice also from the lemon. It just makes the taste just so much more delicious. Oh, Vincenzo, this smells so good. And some lemon juice. I'm just going to uh, use the juice from this beautiful lemon, pour that into our ingredients. Just squeeze that lemon into your hand, making sure that there's no pips from the lemon. They must have known that we needed this lemon for, my, for our biscuits. There are no seeds inside. There's no seeds, it's amazing. Oh, oh, we've got one. <laughs> okay, now we start mixing all our ingredients together. I just can't get over how beautiful and yellow those eggs are. So is this recipe important for you, Maria? It's very important. Um, Easter was a very special time, and I'm sure it's a very special time for a lot of families. But um, I guess with our Italian heritage and our backgrounds of our religion, it's very, very special. Okay, so now we've mixed all our ingredients together. Now this is the part that we have to actually add our flour so we can actually make our dough. So we'd like to sift the flour and the reason why we do that is okay, so it, it, it's airs. So airing the flour makes the actual dough a lot lighter. What, I, what I'd like you to do is rather than using the entire kilo let's go to about three quarters of the kilo okay and and mix that into it sometimes because of the sizes of the eggs or your liquid okay you might need a full kilo so I always put a kilo into a bowl and just use about three quarters of it 
and you'll see what I what I mean as we get going along with our recipe so okay I'm just as you can see there's still some flour left in our bowl so I'm going to start mixing this together and having a look at, at the texture of the dough to see if we have to still continue adding the remainder or if that's sufficient looks like we still need some more how can you tell when you need more well you can because look at the texture you can see because I won't be able to roll that out right onto the board it's and it'll just it, it's too soft and it'll stick and as you can see you can see what I mean about sifting the flour because there's always those little bits that you don't really want, you don't in, really want in your in your dough look a lot of the of the flowers that we use these days it actually tells you on the packets that they've already been sifted and look with this particular recipe the good thing about it it's ingredients that most people have in their fridge in their pantry you don't actually have to go out and buy special special flour and so forth it's just so basic that's what I love about it and it's not an expensive recipe and that's something to consider also so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that off my my little spatula here and start mixing it with my hands before I actually fold it onto the board here we go Vincenzo I think you may need to help me what do you need Maria I need you to put the remainder of the flour. of the flour into the sifter the and here we go yeah yeah see your mum's recipe it's <laughs> always right and remember at the beginning I said to always have a little extra self-raising flour on the side well now you understand why let's dust our board with some of that extra flour that we have so when we place our dough onto the board it doesn't stick it looks like we need just a little bit more and we can put it over our flour into our hands and just get it all together okay so look at this how good does this dough look it's just a little soft sometimes the temperature in the room that we're baking makes a big difference so I'm just going to keep on kneading it just for a little bit more so it's a good idea to keep rolling it out like this just dusting the board with a little bit more flour so when do you know when it's ready Maria okay it's all got to do with the feel of it so you know when it's ready when your dough basically doesn't stick no longer okay on the board remember I said we need a dozen eggs well these are the remainder of the eggs that we need for our biscuit okay so I'd like you to wash the remainder of the eggs so it's a good idea to put the eggs in a bowl with some water and then we just take the water out and I'll wipe them so for the recipe how many eggs do we use the dough needs five eggs the remainder of the eggs we're going to use for making the biscuit so the egg represents new life so that's why these are called these are an Easter biscuit so when you've got your dough ready the very first thing I'd like you to do is to go to your oven and just turn it on so preheat your oven to about 180 degrees Celsius so on your board we are actually going to need a small portion of that dough I want you to just put a little oil so just spread a little oil onto your board just so that that pastry is not going to stick we're going to cut a small piece of that dough and we're going to roll it out roll it out like a sausage and also just remember you can make them as small as you like or as big as you like so what we do in our family is for the men we make larger ones for the children we make the smaller ones that looks like about a good size here comes the exciting part the egg remember what I said to you at the start of our video that the egg represents new life so we're going to put our egg there we're going to get our pastry and we're just going to put it around the egg and then we're going to the remainder of this pastry we're going to plait it and then we're going to curl those ends a little bit upward we're going to put two little cuts in that pastry and just roll it up again now this is another little exciting part okay with just a small bit of your pastry we're just going to roll it it's got to be quite thin and this is going to represent another part of our beautiful Easter celebration we put it along one side 
and a cross and this represents the cross so what do you think isn't this just an amazing little story to our Easter biscuit when you're placing your biscuits onto the tray just make sure that they're a little apart from one another because the pastry actually grows while it's baking okay Would you, are you ready for a different shape in general no, no, it's already done. Oh, okay just, you're already doing the shape we're going to plait this one here so we're going to roll it out a little bit longer and then we're going to plait it oh that's nice yeah just like my mother used to plait my hair when i was very yeah. young and we get our egg and we put right. the egg around. So cute. Yeah. And we're going to do the same thing like we did with the other one. We have to make it, put our little cross over the egg. Do you like this one, Vincenzo? Oh yeah, I think this one is my favorite. I love this one too. Okay, Vincenzo, now it's your turn. Okay, the pressure is on. Pressure is on, okay. okay. Let me see if I can do this, okay. <laughs> well, I've always seen you doing it, but is that a good amount, Maria? That's a perfect amount. Perfect amount, okay. Yeah. Okay, this amount. Maybe I'll get a little bit more oil, just in case, Maria. See, he's been listening. See? Listening. I don't want to be. I'm very proud no, of you. I make the snake. You, need you to make be the gentle, snake. Very gentle. Right. Oh, okay. he's that, making that, an awfully long snake. Up. It's very long. It's a very long one, what but that's okay. That's okay. You what can... I do in this case, Maria? Here, I cut it. Is that okay? Perfect. Maria, what shape do I make? Well, I think you should make the plat one. I want to see. Which one is that? The first I wanna one. I want to see. No, the second one. Oh, that's hard. I okay. want to see how a male more, I think that's a does the plat. Thing. Okay, okay. Do you think so? Just turn it around. Yeah. Mm, see, I can do it. I think you can. Look at that. Mm? You're so pretty I'm ready good. ready to have a daughter. Okay. Get, the get egg. your egg. That's right. Put the egg in there. Yep. Then I go and like wrap, this. but make sure that the pastry is very close to the egg or right. else you know what's going to happen mm. so while it's baking that's right and then we lose the egg can i do this too you can do whatever you, whatever makes you happy mm. that makes me happy but oh, you forgot go. something vincenzo what? the most important thing that? to finish off our sguti what is that oh my god yes that's right okay so you get a piece of nonni dough. would be very upset with oh, you that's more like the cross that's so you right get a piece of dough. and again we make the little snake like this. It doesn't look as good as yours, Maria. It looks as good. Mm. I'm very proud of you. I think I made it a bit too... It's uh, fine. It's okay the first one. It's what fine. It's great. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. The taste is what counts. So, can I put it together with your tray, Maria, you before can. it goes in the oven? You can. We guys, you guys know which one is mine. Mine is the <laughs> ugly one on the side here, okay? But what we've got one more thing to do before we what put it, it in the oven. We have to baste the pastry with the egg well like egg wash. everybody like with an uh, a wash okay i like to use a, a milk wash okay yeah hmm. we're just going to baste now our zguti with some milk what does the milk do oh it just gives them that little bit of an extra shine you can use an egg yolk or you can use egg white there's so many different ways but i tend to like the milk try and get the milk wash all around the biscuit. So when they come out, they, they all look the same. They all have that lovely shine. Now we're ready to put them in the oven. Oh yes, for how long? About 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, we'll check them. Can we might just have to turn the tray around. I'm so excited to see how our biscuits are going. Let's have a look. Oh, they're doing really oh, well, yeah. Vincenzo. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to turn the tray around pop them back in and leave them for another about five to six minutes oh maria look how beautiful we are surrounded by beautiful treats i think so too mm. Vinny. i think so too so what happened is after <laughs> cooking this maria had so much dough and she said okay why don't we make something else so she showed us how to make the s biscuits and all my Calabresi friends out there know how to make these biscuits. We basically use the same dough. It's the same dough. And then Suzanne yeah. came into the kitchen and she said, <laughs> okay, why don't we do something else? Why don't we put ricotta in there? So we basically made a little calzoni, let's say, <laughs> panzerotti, and they are filled with ricotta. You can put jam, you can put Nutella, you, can. you can put anything. And look how yummy they are. <laughs> Using the same dough. You can cover them with chocolate too. Now, Maria. Oh, you can. What, how long do they last? They last basically a, a couple of weeks. So basically yeah. we can make it now for Easter. Yeah, you can. So what if we leave this for Easter and we try the other ones? Whatever you say. I guess it's the same biscuit, right? Well, look, I think we should try these because 
this is what we All right. we decided to make. That's that's our recipe okay. for the day. Can we get this one? Okay. Okay. That you sounds you break good. It? I'm going to break it. Mmm, nice and moist. I'm going to eat the crust, Maria. Well, I'm going to eat the end part. Mmm, crunchy on the outside, which is great, and moist in on the, the inside. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh. What happened to the egg, Maria? All you have to do is peel the skin off it and mm. eat it, just Ap like you do for a boiled egg. Just after the biscuit, you do that. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Traditions. And that's all. And that's all part of your breakfast on Easter morning. Traditions. I love it. I love, I love it. it too. Thank you, Vincenzo. No, thank you for showing this beautiful traditional recipe from Calabria. So, thank you for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Hopefully with Maria. I hope so. E ora si mangia. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Vincenzo's Plate. It's a goody time. Mmm. Yum. They're very good, Maria. I love them when they're hot. <laughs> they're so delicious. I love them when they're hot mm. too. What an experience. <laughs>